Hello, Aries. Okay, we're gonna do reading. For what? For your mid-December to January. That's a what? And then the next reading is gonna be the New Year's spread, like I did last year. If you were here last year, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, Aries. And cross watchers alike, this is for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. You just boop your nose, and away it goes. You know, no need to keep your mind stuck on something that has nothing to do with you, and it's probably none of your business, right? Ooh. Got the first three cards already. Four. I lied. If you want a personal read, everything's in the description box below, newcomers. First reading's on the house. I'm a treat. So, Aries, the energy is wanting to leave shit after setting it on fire. That's nice. Because in the situation, you could pray and pray and nothing different's going to be coming up. In the wants and wishes, we have the five of wands. Everyone just fighting for nothing. Because the obstacle and challenge is making a choice. So, probably try to scatterbrain people. start arguments and nobody collects the information and be like, what do I have to do? Who's going to bleed worse? Who's going to die first? <clears throat> you know? What? Let's see. Your fears and rejections, Aries and Crosswatcher. Or this could be another person. You never know. Never know. Just switch things up because I have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. Also, I like naughty words. So if you don't like naughty words, sucks to be you, man. Sucks to be you. Anyway, the fears and rejections, we got the lovers reverse. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Could be dealing with choices or an infatuation of sorts. Ew. Feels like people might be stuck in a situation that's nothing but heartbreak. Um, there has to be some innovation somewhere, somewhere to begin in order to build the foundation. Someone's got to take that action, even though they might not know what they're doing. They're trying. It just so happens they keep fucking things up to where someone's got to scold them every once in a while. That's all. Like they mean well. They brought a rose, but it's like, mm, okay, dude, whatever. Sorry, I had to do something real quick on my phone. Something. I swear, this technology is just weird, you guys. I don't. I. Like, I will always be surprised by the movement of technology. Anyway. Sorry, I won't let that interrupt me again. Anyway. Ah. Books keep coming out for you, Aries and Crosswatcher. I don't know why, but I'm just letting you know. Um, someone's got anxiety and shit, and we're on to um, how this shit starts, how it'll end. But someone's got anxiety to the point where they forgot there was a kitty. Now there's a dead cat in the bed. Um, but they're too scared to get out of the bed to put the cat in the garbage can because there might be something in there. You know, uh, Something about an empress. This could be you if you're a female Aries. Could also be a Taurus. Or a Libra. Some sort of motherly figure. Um, someone might be looking to try to escape. Maybe a clean slate or whatever. Could be a king of pentacles. A Capricorn Taurus, a Virgo type. Someone who's very productive and is a good provider. However, there might be illusions and secrets he's keeping up with. And somebody might foretell that shit. It could be Pisces. <laughs> for sure. Also, it could be cancer, but, you know, the high priestess is there. Let's see. This is all leading to something vital being delivered, y'all. The Knight of Pentacles. Beginning theme is the sun. 
Hmm. The sun. It is reverse, much like the levers here. Definitely could be Gemini involved, but it's like... Uh, there was a connection here. But I don't feel like it was ever good, Aries. Like, it, it didn't... Like, the both of these are just, like, reverse, so it's kind of like, um... There's a, there's a click there. There's an energy there. But I feel like y'all are good for each other, for the most part. Like, you cause each other to act out your ass a little bit, you know? If that makes any sense. Yeah, so I want to leave the shithole that's burning down in the background, but that requires him to deal with this obstacle, which is making a decision. Like, do you leave the situation, or do you, like, leave the person? Like, which one is it? Do you leave the disaster for somewhere that's for nothing? Or do you go to something that's all on your own? You know? Someone just feels like running the fuck away because they're done with the games, that's for sure. Um, it leaves all, uh, it leaves them feeling a bit naked, I feel like. You know, they're, like, they know what they're secure about, but someone likes to strip that security from them, you know? might be running for oh geez Earthsman showing up could be Capricorn Taurus Virgo Fannie Mae the Queen of Pentacles is here someone might run away from her head games because she might be that kind of bitch she might do that shit when she's pissed you know or when she's just irritated me or because she's a fucking control freak okay so doesn't have to be male or female or a snail or whatever it is you want to mention it to be, but it's like there's somebody who has a um, a very demanding and overwhelming hunger, and it could be you, Aries, because you're right here. But I feel like they drive you nuts more than you are like the control freak in this scenario. You know, it's got you waiting for nothing, or you don't feel like it's worth the time to wait for that nothing. Could be fruitful, but is it actually going to come to you? You really don't know. That's why it's over here. Okay. So, the situation with the Hierophant, right? It's praying to the fucking dirt because he's reversed and shit, right? It's like, he only, it's like, it's like focusing because, like, if he was upright, I'd say he was worshipping the heavens, asking God for advice and shit. But this is kind of like, you know, he's going to what he already knows here on this planet. Instead of asking for wisdom from something that might exist, that might have give him a clue or whatever, you know? Like, instead of, like, looking for shit that's beyond his own perception, he's just sticking to the shit he knows. But he's not advancing anywhere with it. It also talks about this loyalty. And... Lack of commitments. But I feel like he's only relying on the shit that he knows. You know? What he knows is that, like, y'all are broke up. Like, for Rizzle. Like, it looks like y'all still want to be together, but no. Feel a little bit abandoned like a child. And you don't want to wait for something fruitful in this situation. Aries and Crosswatcher, right? Right. Let's see. Well, no, there is a relationship here that's still going on. It's just in the dark. But it's making someone feel abandoned like a child and they don't want to wait for something else to come up. Wants and wishes. I don't know. It's like, you know, 
usually when it's like dark like this with my cards, I always like to say this relationship's gone on for a while because it's nighttime. If it was daytime, the, the, like the light's coming up, time to wakey wake, right? But it's nighttime, so, you know, it's been a minute. But someone's feeling abandoned like a child, but they're but it's like they don't want to wait for something good to come around. So that's awkward. Or maybe they're just gonna let everything burn. It's one of the two. Or they don't realize it. You know, whatever. Anyway, wants and wishes, five of wands. I really feel like this person wants to create Like this this right here is just a creation of conflict and it's like to avoid making a decision of sorts. So, Aries and Crosswatcher, it's like this person's creating this chaos in order to avoid the choice of either leaving for some dirt that isn't really there to escape somebody else, or, I don't know, just like, not making a decision, I feel like, more than anything. Or something not working out. Let's see. Hmm... Someone could be getting ready to get a divorce right after just getting married. Once again, Gemini. Or it's just saying that this, like, door between these two people is just closed up. You know. If someone does come forward to fight, they're gonna say some, like, nasty shit. You know. Just so they can leave? What? Okay, whatever. Let's see. Two of swords below is the obstacle and challenge, right? Let's see. It's a decision that's the obstacle and challenge. Like, whose head are you going to cut off and let them die a miserable death? And who gets to die the slow, painful death because there's no way to save them? Right? Choices. That choice is coming up real fucking quick. <laughs> Either way, both people are suffering in this venture. Uh, someone might turn their back, and unrightly so. Could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. That, like, somebody was popping up earlier, and I can't remember who that was now. My bad. You know. Hmm. It's like someone. I don't care. Okay, this. Like, this read's kind of weird, but it's like, what's coming quick is, like, there's possibly going to be, like, a really nettled water sign who is not good with making any sort of decision. And they're not gonna do anything when it comes to, it's like they don't have emotions or some shit, or they're fucked up. Son, it's something like that. But it's, it's something that's caught on quick. It's like this action or this quick happening right here at the Eight of Wands, how it's coming in. It's like that's what causes this obstacle to become an obstacle. Fears and rejections. The lovers with this Gemini theme once again. Someone's got to look real deep within themselves. Had a relationship that's been going on actually for a very long time. Two of Cups. Shadow side. Because, hmm. Because he, okay, so it seems like someone's afraid of a breakup, but it's like, if this person really looks at this relationship, like, dirty, dirty things could happen, but nothing's going to, like, cause, I feel like, an ending. Because it's like, this person tried to get away in order to, like, kill the stuff, and it still didn't work. He, like, tripped and fell in a trap, and now they're both there. He named the skeleton head Kyle. Everybody say hi to Kyle. That's his name now. Anyway, how this shit starts, how it'll end. Knight of Pentacles. What's interesting is the Knight of Pentacles is going this way. And that's like, I think, what accelerates this, um... King of Cups right here. Mmm. Miff, miff. Dude, is that all of them right there? Uh, almost. She Empress, right? But she got a back turn like the Esther, the Queen of Wands. She's got her back turn because she might be bitching a little bit. 
She might be upset or not feel like she's getting her way. It could be Sagittarius, Aries. It could be you or it could be Leo. Of course, you're up there with the page wands. Sorry, like I had a brain fart right there. Let's see. Something not getting resurrected. There could be an empress happy over here, but Esther's all pissed off and has her back turned to this resurrection. It's like she'd rather be happier as the empress alone. Huh. Thinking about a resurrection just pisses her off. What the fuck? Something about this resurrection, like someone's delivering something. Let's see. My hand does not feel well today, but that's okay. Anyway. But yeah, next reading is going to be... I'm not going to do a bonus. I'm just going to go ahead and do, like, the New Year readings for all the signs. So please stay tuned. Anyway, let's see. Back to the NFA. Yeah, someone wants to offer in this. Knight of Pentacles is over here again. Because he possibly cannot let go of the emotions he keeps trying. Like, he took the cup from the cloud being like, I'm going to just dump it and not deal with it. And then lo and behold, oh, hell no. It's like the cup runneth over and then, like, it, 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 it drowns a small village. There were weeping fish everywhere. All right. The situation down below. Hmm. Ooh, someone's getting set up. What is this? What was this? Someone's going to what they know about this relationship that's old. Feeling abandoned like a child. But they're not going to wait for anything fruitful. It's like they're getting set up, though. So... They're getting set up and that shit ain't working. Or they're setting somebody up. Like, like this card, it's always like, you know, um, this dude's coming in acting like he's saving somebody who's kind of blind, but in truth, all this bitch had to do is walk forward like five feet. Hell, she could have just rubbed against the freaking sword and got herself out, but she didn't know because she's blindfolded. But she wasn't in as much danger as she believed she was in. That's the whole point of the Eight of Swords. It's a mental thing, right? You don't know how trapped you really are until you actually look at the environment and then realize, oh, it's not much of a trap at all. But in this case, it's like the dude put her there, and like after he starts cutting her out, she realizes, oh, you're a dick for doing this. And it just, it doesn't work in his favor. <coughs> Oh shit, that would have been bad. I accidentally knocked over my water bottle. Jesus. <coughs> I was trying to reach for it for a drink, but never mind. Okay. Hmm. Well, a book came out and we'll read it. First of all, um, person doesn't care that, like, whoever walked away. They're just like, well, if you're gonna walk away, I'm just gonna get not give a shit either. Fuck you. Um, became the queen of pentacles right here all on her own and she's already up on the board but she's happy because she's got her own shit her bunny's running she might have a new start but she also might have learned something from her king of pentacles which is interesting and the wheel of fortune stopped on that shit then it felt like they were like taxing people who they really shouldn't have been taxed or asking for loans and stuff from people who could provide more for them when they weren't even in a suit of favor to do so So now, St. Michael's just undooting his horn and they're dropping him back into the ocean because they needed to do the actual work and they're not paying for this kind of ugly statue. Right? Wants and wishes. There needs to be communication here. Or some sort of healing effect in all of this. Whatever one you want to look at. From the monster they've tried to slay in their bed from all the anxiety and such. Okay. This person, this querent right here, Aries and Crosswatchers alike, um, they are terrorized by the fact they know that they need to communicate. 
like weird shit, man, but whatever. You know, I got you. Let's drop one more on that. Shall we? We shall. Hmm. I don't know. I thought. Just one look at that. Hmm. I'm looking over at this dude. Like, will he talk to me? If I try, like, you know, that's the thing. They're scared of communicating with somebody and they're afraid they're going to still be on guard. And they don't want to be, but they will if they have to be. Obstacle and challenge. Not letting shit go and death's visiting for the 500th time. Being like, you're 500 years old, dude. It's time to go. Dude, please don't argue with me. Yeah, it's just straight up not letting anything end. Just hanging on to shit. You know? I don't know, I dropped that one there, but it, it seems like there will be, um... A conversation? At least, like, something, like, at least a, a, an ability to, like, actually have a discussion about whatever it is that someone's hanging on to that they refuse to let go of. And not letting whatever die. It seems like there needs to be a talking of sorts. In order to figure all that out, Aries and Cross Watchers. Okay, so. Fears and rejections. There is love! Yes. Look at that cup. So happy with the free bird and shit. There is love. It just happens to be with the person who, you know, you, you or the person who this might be left to drown to death and they survived. You know, it might just be that situation. Oh, that's almost like redemption. A little bit. Like, maybe so, like, maybe the person who did it, you know. Like, I feel like. Like, there are regrets for leaving this person to drown because I think there was love there. It's just the simple fact that love comes after it's found out that this person survived all the shit. However, at the same time, it's like this person wants to turn it away because of what they've done. It's just like, how can you just, I guess, forgive me like that or whatever? One of those things, right? It's like, I'm scared to accept this back. What if I do something like that again? What if I hurt my boo? We never fucked enough. I forgot to do the ending thing, but I'll get it at the end. Fuck it. Let's just go that route, because we're just going to be adventurers. Alright. How this shit starts, how it'll end, right? Everyone's going to end up having a good time, despite the fact that nothing came together the way it was planned. That's a pretty cool... Uh, Mm, mm, hold on. I'm checking another one, Aries. And that's how shit's gonna close out with the doors and everything. Everyone's already took off. The doors closed, but vice. Huh. Oh, yeah. What's the ending theme, Aries? And Cross Watchers. Feeling stuck with no way out with someone you might not click with or they're not good for you anymore, Aries. Hmm. That makes way more sense than what I was thinking. Okay, anyway. Um, that's the end of your mid-December to January read, Aries and Cross Watches. So if you enjoyed, just like, share, and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you later, and I will love your face for the rest of your life. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.